Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you some practical ways to start yourself a campfire or an emergency fire. You just saw me do it the hard way. I'm going to show you some easier ways to have in your possession or in your kit when you go to the woods to start yourself a campfire. The bow drill, guys, if you don't practice this, this this takes a, a little bit of practice, but if you don't practice it, you'll never be able to do it in an emergency situation. But I'm going to show you this and some other things that you can use to start yourself a fire. Okay, guys, you just see me use the bow drill to start your fire with. If you're gonna if you're gonna use this method, you had better practice it every day until you can do it with your eyes closed. There's one way. Number two, you've seen this used on TV a lot in some of these shows. The hand drill. Very hard to learn how to do and perfect the way to do it. So here's two primitive ways, guys, very primitive ways of getting your fire started. And yes, you can do that. There's no question about it. I can do both of them. But there's nothing like a good old cigarette lighter to make sure you can get your fire started. Next, I have the magnesium fire starter. Works excellent, guys. I carry this all the time when I go to the woods. But, over here I've got different matches. I've got stormproof matches. I've got waterproof matches. Carry those things all the time. Now, I like to do it the old-fashioned way a lot of times. You Here's my version of the old-fashioned way. Flint and steel. I got a piece of flint right down under this stuff right here to strike that with. I've got char cloth right there inside that little waterproof container with a striker on the bottom of it. I also have a flint and steel striker that goes with my primitive hunting kit. And there's the char cloth. This method right here, guys, works good if the sun shines. No sun, no fire. Over here's another one I learned how to do a couple of years ago, a year or so ago. You take cotton balls and wood ashes out of a fire, roll the wood ashes up in the cotton ball. You can watch the video to it, and you can get a fire going very easily this way. Cotton balls and wood ashes. Now over here, for you guys who carry uh, something to scrub your pots with, your, uh, your metal things, we have battery and steel wool. Steel wool and batteries, yes, you can get a fire started with those things. I don't prefer that method, but it works. Okay, here, guys, we've got 
an emergency way to start a fire. I've got gunpowder, and of course I got a little measure there. My buddy down in Tennessee sent me, my old buddy Jimmy sent me that right there. Appreciate that, Jimmy. Now, over here, guys, I've got, you see these all the time, your, your uh, ferro rod. Of course, I've got it built into a knife sheath now to make it work. Carry that in my pack all the time. Last but not least, guys, you can take the powder out of your one of your handgun shells or whichever, whichever rifle you're using, whether it's a handgun or a rifle, take the round out of it and use that gunpowder to start yourself a fire with. Always have a backup way to start yourself a fire. So guys, whether you choose your ferricum rod, powder, batteries for steel wool, cotton balls and ashes, magnifying glass and char cloth or other tinder, just a plain old flint and steel striker, matches, waterproof matches, magnesium fire starter, lighter, hand drill or the bow drill. Those are some of the practical ways, guys, that outdoorsmen can get their fire started. So practice all of this stuff. Take you some of it with you and use it. All right, you guys. I really appreciate you watching my videos. God bless you and have a great day.